What it do, YouTube? This is Airborne Razor, and today I have another free for all gameplay for you guys. As you can see, I'm going to be using the MSR uh, with extended mags, and I think I am using the Magnum as my secondary. You have the trophy system out and the uh, throwing knife. Uh, and real quick, the reason why I have the trophy system is because I don't know if they've even fixed it yet, but uh, this is when you can destroy your own trophy system to get SitRep Pro. And uh, in order to help me accelerate my uh, leveling up to go through the prestiges uh, and get sit rep pro, I, I went through free. I was doing that in free for all. I said, oh, "Hell, I'll sacrifice uh, my secondary equipment if that means that I can get sit rep pro that much faster." Yeah. Uh, real quick, before we really start this, I do want to announce the winner of the 1600 Microsoft Point giveaway. Uh, you know, I'm sorry that it's a day late, but uh, I work nights and days kind of intermingle to me. So uh, for me today still feels like Friday, uh, but the winner is Killer two three eight eight two three, and now how this is going to work is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and send you a personal message, uh, and hopefully you get the message from this uh, video too because hope that'll mean you're an active sub. But to ensure that uh, the 1600 Microsoft points goes to an active subscriber and not somebody that subscribed to us and then just walked away, uh, you're gonna have a week. You're gonna have until next Friday to uh, respond to me and uh, then I'll, I'll, you know, I'll give that code to you when you respond to me um, but if you do not then it will be uh, given to somebody else uh, and you know so on and so forth we'll continue down the road until we hit ac an active subscriber so uh, you know congratulations to killer238823 and that is a mouthful so I'm just gonna say killer uh, you know we, we really appreciate your guys' support, and uh, this is just a little something that we've done to uh, show you that we really appreciate everything you, uh, that you do for us. But, uh, yeah, so congratulations. It's the holidays coming up soon. Uh, you know, we only have a little bit of time until Christmas pops up, and uh, I want to know what your guys' favorite thing about the holidays are. Yeah, you know, everybody's like, oh, you know, I love the gifts, I love the food, I love the time I get to spend with my family. Okay, I know nobody ever really says that, but, you know, it's something else. Uh, but besides the obvious, tell me something else that you would like about the holidays. For me, personally, uh, when it comes to gaming, uh, I love the holidays for one reason, and that's uh, the, Christmas, the Christmas noobs. Everybody uh, that couldn't afford the game or... Uh, smaller children where their parents won't get it for them until uh, you know Christmas because you know it is a $60 game and parents don't want to go out and spend $60 just because the kid wants something but uh, that's definitely my favorite thing about the holidays uh, besides the obvious uh, being able to spend time with my family and uh, you know getting getting to relax from work and all that fun stuff but uh, yeah go ahead and tell me in the comments below I want to know what you guys enjoy about the holidays uh, there's a couple of things I want to discuss. Uh, all of them have to do with Modern Warfare 3, and this is just some of the issues that I've seen uh, with the game. Uh, lag compensation. I I have to say this one's a uh, this one's a doozy. Now uh, you know we saw lag compensation in Black Ops, uh, and in case you don't know what that is, uh, if you are the host, or if you have a strong four bar connection, what this basically does is uh. It tries to level out the playing field by taking everybody that would be one or two bar connections and giving them a stronger, uh, tr uh, tr they're trying to give them a stronger connection so they can have a better, better playing experience. But for those of you that are in the lobby that do have a strong internet connection, you have four bars, you know, you're good to go, no lag whatsoever, they're going to limit your connectivity to, uh, make, you, to make your system run as if you have uh, two to three bars and uh, like I said what they're trying to do is they're trying to level the playing field so that way everybody has an equal chance of, uh, of a gaming experience but what I say is that that's a little bullshit uh, you know if I have a good internet you know I pay that extra money to have good internet connection you know and I have that four bar connection I want to be able to play like I have a damn four bar connection you know that that's a little bullshit and uh, you know we saw it in Black Ops. They did have lag compensation in Black Ops, but uh, it wasn't it wasn't this bad. And uh, 
like I, I think I said in a previous commentary, I do have a gameplay that I'm going to post up here. Uh, because of the lag, it wasn't the best gameplay ever. Uh, and you'll see, you'll see that. But uh, I've noticed that there's games where I'll shoot somebody and it misses, and I'll be like, you know, what what the hell? Why did that miss? It, it was dead on. You know, I'll, I'll hard scope a kid and not even get a hit marker. And I'll go back in theater mode and watch it. And uh, I would have been like way off. In, in theater mode, I am way off. And that just goes to show, I mean, that's just an example of a. Uh, of how this lag competition is affecting those of us players that have good connections, you know? So, I mean, I guess for those of you that have always lived off of a two-bar uh, Call of Duty-style life, you, uh, you you got good things coming for you with this lag compensation, but not not for those of us that have always played on a uh, strong four-bar. Uh, there's a couple other things I wanted to discuss. Um, uh, the next one is uh, the free-for-all spawning. I'm not gonna lie. If if you die once in free for all, it is almost impossible to get a gameplay because it's just it's pathetic how they've made the spawning system in free for all. You will literally spawn next to, behind, or in front of the person that just killed you repetitiously over and over and over until one of you wins. I mean, you <laughs> it's it's really bad. And I know I talked about this in my free and uh, my last commentary, but it was I've hit a really bad game the other day you know I started off I was 11 and 2 uh, or I started off 11 and 1 and uh, you know I was thinking man this this is a pretty good game so far hopefully you know hopefully it'll become a gameplay you know I don't decide if I'm gonna keep the game until the end because God knows what's gonna happen and this is just an example of God knows what's gonna happen uh, I died once so I'm 11 and 2 no big deal I respawn in instantly die before I can even move to the same kid spawn in again on the different side of the map, spawn, uh, instantly die again. And this continues on for about, no shit, 13 to 14 deaths. Yeah, it was 14. This ended up being uh, 11 and 16. Finally, I uh, break out of the, uh, the spawn trap that the game had set for me, and uh, I ended up finishing uh, winning uh, 30 to 18, but it's like, how can you take that from me? A good gameplay, uh, where I was 11 and one, and you know, ended up being 11 and two, and then just screw me over like that. I mean, the game literally spawn put me in a spawn trap. That's that's a load of shit. Uh, I definitely I beg uh, Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer Games to fix the spawning system because that that's just I I, I can't handle it. That's, that's too bad. A couple things that I think that they should uh, put in here too that uh, Black Ops did right uh, is they need to make the icons and domination and demolition disappear. That's the one thing that Black Ops did right, and then another thing they did right was uh, assist. That if you kill somebody that is in uh, second chance, you get uh, the assist, and whoever put them in second chance gets the uh, kill. Now, yes, I know there's no final stand, uh, well there is final stand. There's no last chance or. Uh, second chance or whatever but there is final stand and uh, I think that they need to apply that to final stand the same way they did to second chance and last stand uh, so I don't know why they took the good things that uh, Treyarch did right with Black Ops out of the game and then put uh, the bad things like lag compensation in there but uh, you know who only knows what, what they were thinking um, check out our new layout, please. We did uh, switch to the new layout for YouTube, and uh, you know we made a new background for it and everything. Tell us what you guys think about it. If you guys prefer the old one or the new one, or maybe we just need to make another background for the uh, new layout. If you don't, maybe you just don't like that particular background. Uh, but tell us what you guys think. If we should keep, if we should stick to the new layout of YouTube or the old YouTube layout. Uh, I know we really. Uh, uh, take what you guys say into effect. Uh, real quick, don't forget that we are still recruiting. We got a couple editors that we've uh, recruited, but the team itself is still recruiting. We're looking for active posters, and uh, you know, just once again, PM my channel, and I'll get back to you. Looks like we're about out of time here. Uh, I finished a total of 30 and 13, I believe. Yeah, 30 and 13. So uh, it was pretty decent. YouTube, take it easy.